Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Thanksgiving week. You're going to love it. Be safe if you're out there driving. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon your idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Look at us. Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 103. Nas Dow Industrials up 149. NASDAQ up 103. S&P's up 18. Gold contract down $8.70 trading at $14.54 an ounce. Silver. Off 14 cents, $16.86 an ounce. Late sweet crude, up 27 cents, $58 4 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year up one tick, trading 129.16. The 30 year up five at 160.01. And King Dollar, King Dollar up 44 ticks, trading 98.314. The euro is at 110. The pound, the, the yen is at 108.95. And the pound is at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a new all all time high inside the SPs. Right now, the spy is trading at a price point of 313.97. 313.15 uh, uh, was the high uh, out here today. The bottom line is it's, it's basically it popped up in the morning, folks, and has been staying up here all day. So you're over the highs that were generated last week. That high that was generated last week was 312.69. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. You had the run early in the morning out here. Actually, right when we opened, uh, the bottom line is that what you had, you had a surge forward uh, on the open. And this was, uh, I think it was right at 9.30. It was. It was at 9.40. Uh, 9.40. By the time we got to uh, basically 10.40, uh, markets were at highs and they've stayed there since. NDX 100, three Qs. You take a look at the three Qs, you're up $2.09. You're trading at 203.92. The high of last week out here was 203.84. Small caps, small caps, bottom line, you have wide price spread. They do have volume, uh, $18 million, You're up $3.38. Now, that being said, they are breaking... The consolidation that they've been in for about a year. Uh, now, that being said, it doesn't have more volume than the last time we got up here, uh, which was in May, uh, the, yeah, May the 6th. Uh, bottom line, I expect more than likely we're going to see that volume come in at the close, though, because what does happen with the I IWM, folks, is that you have a huge amount of volume that comes in, particularly in a big day, whether it's up or down. Uh, when the trustee of the ETF is coming in to get that net asset value correct. So the number to keep your eye on with 50 cents over that number right now is the $161.11. Bottom line is that uh, we've been into that cons consolidation for quite some time, uh, and we'll see how it can chip away at the downdraft that, w that came in last October. Last October, uh, that thing got smoked. It never came back from that point. Bottom line, we'll see if it can. Silver, we take a look at the silver contract out here. What we have inside the silver contract. Silver contract right now trading down 14 cents. You get 64,000 contracts that are traded out here. Silver, uh, light volume, bottom line, though, it looks to me like this is also going to be going after the lower swing point that was established out here about two weeks ago inside silver. That number is 1661. And, of course, this is going to be all about King Dollar. What King Dollar did have out here last Friday is had a sign of strength. You had the price spread happening in King Dollar. Uh, King Dollar went from a price point of 97,836 to 98,305. Uh, to right now, you're at 98,317. The top of this consolidation is 98,447. So I do expect we're going to get up into that area. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and it's not there's going to be big volume. You got to remember, um, holiday week, Thanksgiving week here. What we're going to have is this, folks: is that by Wednesday about noontime, trading desks will clear out. Markets open to four, but bottom line, clear out is one of the biggest traveling holidays out there. Thursday we're closed. Friday it's a half a day. Bottom line, they can move stocks around in a huge way. 
If we take a look at the higher volume equities out here today, uh, Schwab is going to be taking over TD Ameritrade. Schwab is uh, trading up 78 cents, $48.97. TD is trading up 330, $51.46. You get uh, Freeport Mac Moran, that's up 35 cents at 11.70. We have uh, Snap at 40 cents at 15.66. And uh, Tiffany, yeah, Tiffany's up there. You get uh, the company in France is going to be by Tiffany's out. That's up $7.96. And let's go look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is up here, NVDA. NVIDIA is up here early. You had Morgan Stanley do an upgrade in the on NVIDIA, that was putting some real juice uh, into NVIDIA a little bit earlier. Uh, still is, okay? So NVIDIA is uh, nine, nine up $9.53. You're trading two twenty forty eight, And just bring this back for a bit. Yeah, this is still going right into its downdraft. The bottom line is that uh, NVIDIA had a vicious downdraft out there last October. Went from $292 and nine weeks later at $124. Uh, bottom line is that that's, it's basically crawling uh, topside once again. So uh, what I do expect we're going we're gonna to see uh, out here is that you're going to get monster movement. In, and it doesn't have to be just up, by the way, okay? That's what we have happening right now. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but the bottom line is that it can go south just as quick. We're going to take a look at the uh, euro because uh, we'll take a look at the dollar. The dollar had... Uh, nice sign of strength on Friday. That's when the euro gave it up. The euro went from a price point of 110, uh, 110 uh down to uh, 110.004. That's where we're at right now. Uh, bottom line is they expect that is going to go down and try to test the 109.89, which was back there on the 14th of November. And then if we go take a look at the uh, British pound, what well, we are going to be getting ac action, folks, Inside that British pound, uh, coming into December, that's when the elections are going to be over in the UK, and we'll see uh, exactly where that uh, is going to straighten out. We're at 129. Market wise, out here, bottom line is that you have higher prices right across the uh, indices. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. The, he's the managing director, head of products at Direction Shares. Coming right back, folks.